everyone. So today is Sunday, the 3rd of September. And today I've started the day with coming back to check on my stitch. I've got some very sad news guys, it hasn't worked that well. Um, but hopefully with a little bit of water, hopefully it will fix, fix the problem. I need to somehow try and get this nose to stay down whilst putting in the rest of this, which right now it does not want to work. So I'm going to try and take this fused ball off which is a bit difficult there we go and i'm going to just try and keep it in there i'm very angry because well guys this no this ear didn't stick either so i've now got to try and refigure the whole thing it does not look like a stitch whatsoever but you know we've got to do what we've got to do so what I might try and do is try and fuse it as it is, but I don't know, I just don't like it guys. I don't know why this stitch just hasn't gone to plan according to my other stitches. So I think I'm going to try and remodel it and just hope that works because right now like i'm like barely in the mood to deal with stuff that doesn't work today it's gonna be a weird stitch so i'm gonna get these out because i need to do the measurements of these but i may need my water spray so first that i'm gonna try and get the ear in the right place And then I'm going to try and flatten down the nose, but then that's not even going down. So I don't really know what to do guys, because nothing's like working. Like absolutely nothing's working with this stitch. So I'm just going to leave it as that and hope that something happens. Because if not, then I'm just going to just chuck the stitch out and just say to my cousin that it just hasn't gone right. Because I'm running out of colours to do another one. And now I need to clear my desk because it's an absolute mess. My purse. I've left one of these out so I can get back in here. I also um, haven't got my implants on, so I have no idea how loud I am or how quiet I am. So if you guys can't understand me, then I'm very sorry. <laughs> So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I know this video isn't over, but if you do enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe. And we're going to carry on with this flaming video because it's fun. So I'm going to get out these scales.
because what I've got to do guys I've got to take the weight of a stipper which is normally zero at the moment and then I need to um, do the length and the height so um, when I do these ones I go with the height so I put do the height of this and then length I think I'll have to include this bit because obviously this is part of the sticker but each of these are different so I think um, the heights and stuff is going to vary I need to try and remember my password <laughs> there we go so I'm going to get on with this and I'm going to keep you updated on how it goes I'm going to get I'm going to try and get at least one of each out uh, what's the bottom one so I need that one out and I need this one out I need one of that one out I'm trying to get at least actually I will do that penguin at least one of each sticker out just so I don't have to worry about that uh, this one, definitely one of those, one of those I need out, this one I need out, already got that one, it's actually quite difficult trying to get one of each sticker out, especially when you've got so many, cat paw prints, we've already got submarine out, Oh, we need, of course, we need our German Shepherd out, guys. Father's Day ones. Um, George Giraffe. We need Mickey out. We need Rocket. Trifle Tower in circle form. We've got... Mary Poppins, we've already got the rocket. Um, I'm trying to see what other ones we haven't got out yet. I don't think I got one of these out yet, so I need that one out. What I'll do, I'll leave it as that. And then we will come back if I have left any of them out. So the first one we're doing is Summertime in Colour, which is this one. So I'm not going to put that there. We need to measure the width and the height. So the width is along this way. Obviously make sure the ruler is on zero because that will be very handy. I'm going to grab my pencil if I know where my pencil's gone. So, the width of this one is coming up to 8.9, so that's the length is 8.9, obviously we're not going to weigh it but I'll weigh it anyway, and the height going from the top to the bottom is 4.3.3 we'll wait anyway even though I don't see a point of weighing it yep absolutely nothing so we'll turn those off and we're gonna write it in so the width was 8.9 and it's in millimetres and the height was 4.3 and that's also in millimetres save and continue so what I'm going to do I'm going to put these off to the side the ones that I've done um, 
I'm going to continue with this and I'm going to put you guys on a timer.
almost done with the stickers and the measuring. I just need to do this one, which is up, up and away, and I need to do the cat ball print, and then I'm done with the measuring. So this one is 3.8. 3.8 and then the height from top to bottom is actually 8.4 that's probably the tallest one i think all right let's get this one checked and then i need to do this one and then i can make a start on measuring the other ones um measuring the pumpkins and the ones like that so the width of this one is 3.8 millimeters and the height is 8.4 there we go and finally it's the cat paw print and I had to add a section, it's 4 and 3.5 because I've already wrote it down because I accidentally put it in the wrong one. So now that we're done with all of these, I'm going to put them back into here. And then guys, we're going to make a start on the other one. All of these and I'll put these back in here and I'm now making a start oh I did have a section bear with me guys I did have a section for the cat paw print for 3.5 I just didn't see it oh, honestly. like after the panic attacks yesterday I, my brain is absolutely everywhere this morning and it's only early too it's only nine minutes past nine all right now these ones i am going to weigh i'm not i might have them individual in my shop but i think i'm gonna put them with the packages so like if you ordered more autumn ones then it'll come with that and so forth so we're definitely weighing these because I know for a fact that these actually weigh something. I need to... There we go. So let's get these open. We have got our beautiful pumpkins. So we're going to begin with one. Come on. It's being weird, it's not coming up with anything. Guys, I don't know what's going on with these scales. I'm gonna quickly take these downstairs and then we'll come back. Right, we are back. We have got them situated, hopefully. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. There we go. Right, let's put this in. So, one of them, so the pumpkin weighs eight. Eight grams. Um, okay, so that's that bit done. Let's turn it off for a minute just so we can do the length and the height but what's weird guys is that each of the pumpkins weighs something different um, but this will be rough so the length of one is about 4.9 well probably about 5 5 and then the height of one is about four point seven yes i did put the ruler on top 
so that's the pumpkins done we then got a penguin i'm only going to do one so one penguin weighs two so that's two wait oh why do i keep doing this oh no that is fine oh guys i really thought i had it in the wrong one then right we're going to turn you off we then got to weigh this little guy so we're doing length first let's do the bottom the length of a penguin is 2.6 2.6 and the height of this guy is currently three point five three point eight three point eight there we go and now we're gonna do the paw print which I have a feeling is going to weigh quite heavily oh that didn't work that weighs eight, so that's not as um, heavy as I thought it would be. And the length of a paw print, we're going to turn this off for a minute. The length of a paw print is 7.7. Now these are all estimations, like even with the ruler, I can't get an exact. Um, and then lengthwise is probably 5.8. Right, final one is our little ducky friend. even though the head's falling off I think so let's weigh the duck if it wants me to 11 so the duck is 11 grams and now we need to do the length and the height so I think four. Oh, I've got it the wrong way. Right, let's try and make sure this is at the end. Uh, it's like seven. And then height from top to bottom is about, oh, stay measured, eight. So seven and eight. Okay, so I have got some more in here. I've got Mickey and I've got a Marie one. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put them up yet. And I've got this stitch that has like completely failed. So now that I've done all that, I'm now going to put everything away. And then you guys probably know I'm going to do a puzzle. Because I haven't got any designs that need to come out. I need to wait until my bank card has arrived. And then I can hopefully start selling once that's came. Um, so yeah, we're almost there guys. So I was doing a puzzle and I was getting quite far. However, I am now going to sit on the laptop and I'm going to play Euro Truck not on my laptop but on um but on the laptop that we like the first laptop that we got and um, that i've been recently creating designs on so when it loads i'm going to play euro truck and then have dinner and just chill i'll keep you updated on what i do throughout the day so I was playing Euro Truck, however the laptop started getting really, really, really hot. 
so I have turned it off to let it cool down. I'm going to put you guys on charge and whilst you guys are on charge I'm going to do a puzzle and have some dinner. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of hours since I've spoken to you guys. And for dinner, even though it's quite late, we have chicken tikka with rice. Time to eat. So it's been a while since I've spoken to you guys. I'm currently hanging out with Romeo. We're both extremely hot. Help me, Romeo. So we're having a few little cuddles. I've put an ice pack on the top of his cage so the the coolness will hopefully seep down into his cage and make it a bit colder for him because honestly guys it's so hot i was doing a puzzle and it's been quite a while since i've spoken to you guys i was doing a puzzle um but i just got bored because my back's really hurting i'm now going to snack on some harry bows and I'm going to watch a TikTok live. It's absolutely baking. Which is the only reason why I'm snacking on sweets for tea. Because I'm too hot to eat something proper. So, yeah. I will catch up with you guys in a bit, I think. Actually, no. I'm going to end it here because I'm not going to be doing anything else. Because it's just too hot. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye.